Hello, my name is Abe, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon, and we're playing today as the Paradox. We have no money. Why do I have no money? <laughs> Amusement is a prime currency when thee liveth entirely in a gun fiddled dungeon. Uh, we have nothing here. We've already gotten the, the clone, I think. I think we're good to go. Oh, actually, uh, you know, no. I'm, I was gonna say we should do boss rush because we still need to do boss rush at some point. We just finished out uh, Matt Man's nonsense. But before we do Matt, you know what? That's interesting. We have the, the alt starting gun here. Before we do Matt Man's nonsense, there is one thing that I need to do or that I, I want to do. And I keep forgetting to do it. We need to do the robot. We need to get the busted TV, deposit it down to the blacksmith, Finally, complete our goals, our objectives. Got one. Because I keep forgetting to do it. And last run, I, I wanted to do it, but then I forgot about it. That being said, last run was still extremely productive. Uh, we did two floors worth of Matt, not Matt Man, but uh, Tinker Man, Elevator Man. I'm actually very impressed by the speed at which we have done all of the elevator shortcuts. Okay, uh, it's a fast boss. I mean, we basically did all, I think all but one of the Elevator Man objectives in two runs. We did Chamber 2 and Chamber 3 in one run and then Chamber 4 and Chamber 5 in another run. I don't know how we managed to scrounge up 11 keys and like 500 bucks, but we made it happen. Camel B12, welcome to the stream. But we've been making great progress and now we just need to go to, uh, Go to the second chamber elevator, grab the busted TV, and actually, you know, use it. It's the, the last elevator-related quest. Even though it's not really a quest for the elevator, it's more of a quest for depositing the elevator, or grabbing the TV in the elevator shaft. JMC says, I got lucky on my busted TV run. Got wax wings and a black hole gun. I guess Black Hole Gun's pretty good. I, I don't like Black Hole Gun, though. I like getting the cash from the enemies. Black Hole Gun sucks them up. I don't wanna suck them up. I'm gonna have the, the, the money. I'm a greedy, greedy son of a gun. <laughs> well, no, I'm, a, I'm not a, a bullet man, though. I'm a son of a man. And a woe man. I'm a son of human. You damn human. Human. Apparently now I'm a Ferengi. Um, but yeah, excited to be playing a little bit more Gungeon. Haven't played in a few days. Hopefully I sound half decent. Not like I've actually changed any of my microphone settings. I just, today I'm not uh, cough, cough, sneeze, sneeze, having insane allergies, which has been happening uh, with surprising regularity lately. Uh, a couple days ago, we had our, our July 4th around here. We just invited people over and did some barbecuing. Nothing nothing insane, but goodness gracious if I was not sneezing like a mother. Mother trucker, if you get what I mean. I think I'm allergic to something in the house, because outside I'm totally fine, but inside I sit down on the couch and I'm just like, achoo, achoo, eyes watering, snot running down my face. No, uh, has it? It's not running down his nose. Greasy fingers smearing shabby clothes. Hey, Aqualung. Except not really snot running down my nose. I, you know, I wipe. Allergic to Chris says mud. Well, you think so, but th then I would be, uh, you know, sneezing in his room, sneezing outside, uh, sneezing was he when he's in here, you know, in the morning doing you know what, but uh, now I think I'm just allergic to like the couch or the cushions or something. You know what we need to do? We should go down to a, a local hardware store or something and rent like one of those steam cleaners, those deep cleaners, and then just like clean the house. Proper anti-dustification of everything would actually be pretty good. Does anyone in the house get the same? Well, um, there's other allergies. No one, no one else is allergic to, to the actual, like, living room. <laughs> I think that's just me. Whatever the case may be, we'll, we'll work it out, we'll figure it out one of these days, I'm sure. 
You know what? I'm not gonna use the blank. I'd rather get the flawless. Anyways, today though, today seems just fine. Then again, I haven't been in the living room all day today, so maybe that's okay. Any pets? Nope, no pets. I have no, uh, no other major allergies. I'm just allergic to the living room. Oh, we have heavy boots, don't we? Yeah, okay, this is actually a very good synergy. Elephant gun is great. Heavy boots is great. Um, I would love to hurt myself. Sorry, that, you know, I, I don't mean it, except I actually kind of do. I don't, think there, I don't think there's any way of hurting myself, so I'm just gonna grab the blank. I wanna, oh my lord, I am so glad I spent 17 cents on a freaking blank. We got a good gun, we got a, a bad item, <laughs> which we're just gonna drop, and say, no, I don't want it. The gun is worth it, I will say that. The gun, you know, we can use that, that guitar for bosses in the future. I got no problem with that. The, uh, ooh, the passive item. You know what, the best thing we can say is that it's not gonna show up for the rest of the run. And probably next run. Quote, add, I have no other major allergies, I'm just allergic to the living room. I don't think that's exactly what I said, but that's, you know, pretty close. I'll, t I'll allow it. Anyways, elephant gun is just so good. I don't know why people don't appreciate this gun as much as I do. It's just solid, and it feels good, you know? Insert any video game ever where the shotgun is like the uh, the basic weapon, and it feels great. That's what this gun is, it just feels great. Feels great, oh god. Though I do wish that that dynamite would explode into Bulletkin's faces a little bit more easily, unfortunately. Now I have to remember. Elevator. Elevator, elevator, elevator. Because I'm gonna forget if I don't remind myself. We've got to make sure that on, not this floor, but the next floor, we get the elevator. How did I miss that? I guess I didn't expect it to be a blob. I looked at it in the clip maker, that's exactly what you said. Okay, well if that's exactly what I said, then I'll allow it. Orange, you know? I don't mind an orange, if, especially if there's a, a vampire lady or something, some way that we can get uh, a little bit of value out of our HP, that would be great. You're not dead yet? All right, you know what? Rock out with your gun out, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh. Clunk, clunk, clunk. I love glitching those guys out. Making sure they don't actually fire any bullets. Aren't you glad it wasn't a banana gun? If banana gun was good, I would like it more. It's one of those funny guns in the game that's like, ha, <laughs> it's a banana. And then you just never use it because it's actually bad. It's actually bad. I don't know why I keep wanting to kill that guy with just like one shot from the uh, from the face melter. It's like I, I don't want to use any elephant rifle ammo because I think it's too precious. This is a two shot old Goldie basically. Old Goldie does a lot more damage than the elephant rifle I think, but of course it is uh, significantly more rare. We're talking blue versus red here. Woo. I guess that's why I really like Elephant Gun. It's basically a low tier old Goldie, but it's way more common. 
Just a, just a straightforward old-fashioned two-shot shotgun that sometimes turns into a worse gun when you get synergies. And you can argue with me as much as you want about some of my choices in Enter the Gungeon, some of my opinions. I'll stand by that opinion. That the synergy version of this gun is worse. I think it still has like equally good freaking knockback, but longer rate of fire on it too. Um, is this gonna be a mimic? No, unfortunately. Well, well in hindsight, we'll probably not buy the banana. Or is it sorry, the orange. <laughs> orange you glad I didn't say banana? Banana, you glad I didn't say orange? Because I just don't think we freaking need it, honestly. Rat note. Oh my god, I forgot about the rat notes too. <laughs> You've been had. Gungeon. I should just kill you, but that'd be no fun. So just for a laugh, I've stolen your gun. Okay, you stole a black level gun. I kind of hate that. Yeah, that, that's a pretty big ouchy moment right there. You could have, you couldn't have stolen like unfinished gun or something. You had to steal what was actually supposed to be a pretty good gun. A little on, a little sad about that. But on the bright side, that means we know that there's going to be a passive or an active out of this chest, so we might as well. Okay, no, it's a gun. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I think the rat lied, everyone. That was going to be a passive. But we don't need. Uh... We don't need the guitar anymore. Never trust a rat. The rat bastard. Oh, come on. It bounced off the wall perfectly. Extremely freaking rude. I'm the Paradox Marine, but I still have my helmet on, even though I don't have any armor. Unrealistic game. It's funny, most of the time when I'm playing as a paradox, I guess I never really pay attention to what character I am. I just see the blob and I'm like, that's where I am. That's who I am. That's what I am. Hip holster, quick draw. Well, very good with the sling. Uh, pretty bad with everything else we have, but you know, we'll, we'll work on that. Orange for 78. There's no reason. There's no reason to get the orange. We do have a key. I could go into the locked chest room, open up a brown chest, and then hope for the best, but. I mean, why not? Why can't I? Why shouldn't I have this? Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be something good like a rainbow chest. Well, I didn't get lucky with a rainbow chest, but it did get pretty lucky with a freaking flash ray. What's actually kind of interesting about this run right now is that we we seem to have a lot of really good guns. Especially good boss killing guns. Flash ray, face melter, uh, sling. I'm pretty happy about this one. Um. Elevator. Yeah, gotta remember the elevator. Gotta remember the elevator. Here's the thing about the elevator though. We don't need to do the elevator now because the TV is down there, but we don't want to pick it up right now. We want to pick it up at the end of the floor. That way we don't have to babysit the, the TV forever. So what I have to remember is before you go down to the Abbey, pick up the TV. Television, 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 television. TV, TV, t basically I have to imagine myself as the Xbox uh, live presentation from like six years ago. <laughs> television, 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 TV, 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 sports, 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 sports. Anyone else remember that? Hey, don't take my crest. Yeah, it doesn't matter what we take the ammo for. None of our other guns are actually, like, very used at the moment. Sports, 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 sports. <laughs> 
I bet you you could find the video I'm referencing just by uh, Googling Xbox television, television, television. That would probably, you'd probably find it pretty quickly. This is a pretty good run so far. I mean, I have only been using basically one gun for the past two floors, but, uh, well, that's kind of exactly what I want out of a Gungeon run, isn't it? Give me just one good gun that'll last me forever. Unfortunately, Hip Holster is pretty bad with a shotgun, but... Oh! No! I even used a blank, it was just too late. Gosh, darn it. And you wanna know why? That was a failed blank attempt, too. Because the freaking bullets are traveling too slowly, man. I thought to myself, Self, you can dodge into the corner. The bullets will travel right through you. No. They didn't. They did not. Because everything travels so damn slowly before you get access. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Uh, before you get access to turbo mode. Remember them saying the Xbox is gonna be the new water cooler? <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh god, I remember that. Xbox is going to be the new water cooler. <laughs> oh god. You also remember when they uh, forced the Xbox to ship with the Kinect and then about six months later they reversed that requirement? Because no one was making games with the Kinect. Because <laughs> people thought it was garbage. Because it was. Oh, I remember that. That was fun. Now do I own an Xbox? Oh no. <laughs> I've never actually owned an Xbox. Mm, no thank you. But still. Remember HD DVD says mud. You know, here's the thing. I, I think that that's actually a kind of an interesting uh, thing to talk about because HD DVD, HD DVD and Blu-ray were competing standards at the time and I forget the actual reason why Blu-ray won but I think it was because it was uh, shipped standard on PlayStations and as a result things were, were being developed with uh, Blu-ray in mind although I think also Blu-ray had like higher density and lower costs per HD DVD but I can't quite remember, it's been a while. What was the Kinect's project name? Wasn't it like uh, Scorpion? No, that was like the Xbox, oh God, the Xbox Series X1X? I don't, I don't freaking remember, it was one of them. I think one of those was called Scorpion. When did I pick up this key? Was that literally like a second ago? I think it was literally a second ago, but I wanna open up this chest. Got another shotgun. We don't need another shotgun, but I'll take it. And uh, actually, how much money do we have for uh, for the yield key? 361 minus 147. You know, we're getting close. We're getting close to a point in time when we're actually gonna be able to do something about the freaking... Uh... We're getting close to when we're gonna be able to actually unlock that for real. I should just shoot you. Instead of worrying about actually getting like the very specific bounce in order to do maximum damage. Something tells me that's not necessary. August Main, welcome. You finally caught the stream. Well, I'm finally get to see you. Welcome. Double sling seems, double stout sling It seems pretty good. Uh, truth be told, I don't really like stout bullets, but it works very well with the guitar. Maybe we should have used it in this fight, because if you put down the guitar in inside the enemy, then you're gonna get the stout bullets out of the guitar, and the stout bullets out of the out of the amplifier, rather, they don't actually get smaller. So it's a very good synergy with that, but for everything else, it's actually kind of trash. Even on uh, fat line, doesn't seem that good. I might I might dump stout bullets soon. Probably. Anyways, let's play. Let's play. <laughs> let's pay 
half of the cost of the key, take it down to 210, and elevator, 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 elevator. Television, 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 television. Busted TV, broken and heavy. Use the toss. Cannot be carried through a dodge roll. This television is, is extremely heavy. It's also extremely broken. These are not useful qualities for traversing a timeless bullet-filled dungeon. So you throw it, you pick it up. All the day you'll have good luck. And don't dodge roll into the elevator. Just walk into the elevator, shh, slowly and carefully. Also welcome Founded in Hell and Neon Fox. Yeah, this is what I want. Two shotguns. So, my strategy for dealing with the TV is basically when you enter a room, toss it, then pick it up. The rat will take the TV, so you have to toss it in every room, but if every room you toss it and then pick it up, then you'll always remember it. Hopefully. I mean, you gotta remember to pick it up, but this way you don't, it, it, by, in my opinion, by manually throwing the TV, you're kind of remembering it, because when you walk into the room, you remember you have the TV, and when you are, are about to leave the room, you can check to make sure you have the TV. Because you drop it on a dodge roll, I feel like um, you're more likely to lose track of it because you're not gonna be remembering that you actually dropped it during your dodge roll. You're just gonna be dodge rolling the bullets, You'll go to the next room and be like, what happened to the TV? I th could have sworn I had it. And then you'll be like, what the heck? I must have dodge rolled and didn't realize it because dodge rolling is just second nature in this game, especially by the point in which you would, you know, be trying to, to do the TV stuff. So I did dodge roll and I did drop the TV. Now just remember, grab it, pick it up, toss it over the, over the pit here. And the rat will take the TV. That's why you have to remember to grab it every room. You can't just throw the TV and then pick it up at the end of a floor. Otherwise that would make this too easy. And you wouldn't want it to be too easy now, would you? I wonder if you can re-roll the TV with the rat ring. Why not? Well actually you probably can't because the TV is not a quality item. It's it's not D, it's not blue, it's not red, it's not black. It's qualityless. And qualityless items don't really function with that type of stuff. So if anything, I'd be uh, I'd be putting money down on the TV, just not re-rolling into anything. Maybe even not being able to be stolen, but it probably will still be able, still be able to be stolen. Would the rat steal the TV if you dropped it in the secret room? Dropping it, no matter where you drop it, that doesn't change the fact that the rat can steal it. The thing about secret rooms, oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. The thing about secret rooms is that when you walk into a secret room, the trap door is right there. When you walk into a secret room and there's like ammo on the ground, the reason the rat doesn't take it is because the ammo spawned there at the beginning of the floor. It's the same reason why the rat doesn't take the TV in the elevator room until you go pick it up. Because the TV spawned in the room, it doesn't make sense that the rat would take it, otherwise the rat would take the item before you got there. So anything that's a natural spawn, not a drop, but a spawn, won't be taken. Because it can't be taken, otherwise the, the whole mechanic of it being there in the first place doesn't work. So now that we've picked up the TV, if we ever drop it, it's the rat is capable of taking it. I'm scared there for a minute. Uh, there is a map man. There's also a shrine, but in order to do map man, we have to do the shrine as well. I don't, I don't know how we're gonna afford the duct tape here. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. Hopefully I muted that one, I think I did. Now, don't forget the TV. Big Pit, also kind of annoying with the TV, but that's what the throw is for. <laughs> I 
Basically, if the player can make the dodge, so can the TV. So we got enough money. I think we get the key. I think we go to both of these rooms and then we get something out of Matt Man. Matt Man has quests anyway, so I think it's worth doing. This is not what we wanted, of course, but you know, we'll take it. We'll also break the uh, the chests in a moment. Hello. Okay, well, I mean, we got we got garbage. Womp womp. It's also garbage. Also literal garbage. Okay, well, let's get this done with. Let's fight the boss. Definitely use the sling. Toss the TV as soon as you walk into the room. That way you're less likely to forget about it because you threw it down as opposed to it just being there. And all, honestly, it's uh, probably a good idea to throw it down in your boss room by where the uh, items are gonna spawn. That way you're like, hey, why is that TV there? Oh right, television. Television, 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 television. Imagine if you had to just rush down secret rooms before the rats animation finished. <laughs> that would be miserable. You, you open a floor and you have eight seconds to get to your rat secret room before uh, he steals six ammo drops and you're like, oh, well, screw me, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, there's no reason to go down to the rat's lair. Uh, we are done, we have no money, and no keys, and one television. And like, a whole bunch of items. Gosh, I wish I could steal. But we can't, so we are out of here. Yup. All right, don't forget the TV. Neon Fox says, by the way, I picked up Vampire Survivors and 20 Minutes, enjoying both. Kinda wish 20 Minutes had more unlockables in the vein of Vampire Survivors. Yeah, that's an explosive barrel. You never see those. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, 20 Minutes is gonna pick up more unlockables and, and whatnot. I still stand by the idea that 20 minutes just makes me want to play Nova Drift. I don't know how much other people like uh, asteroid games. <laughs> God, it just feels so slow. When the heck are we gonna get turbo mode? I, I have to feel like I'm getting kind of unlucky with NPC drops and, and keys and whatnot. Forget the TV. I feel like it's been quite a while since we have found a a golden cell key. We can we can open this luckily. It's a good gun. It's a good gun. It's the highest qu well, okay, second highest quality that we've had so far. Nova Drift is dope. It says Lol Noep. Yep. Never heard of Nova Drift. Basically, it's asteroids roguelite. So, yes, you're a spaceship, yes, you have tank controls, yes, you wrap the screen, but you also have perks that you can unlock that unlock other perks, and then you can build around specific designs, like you make drones and the drones do all your damage. You fire uh, homing missiles all around you and then you just rely on them to home into enemies and you try to duplicate your projectiles as much as possible. You can have a build where you never shoot your gun and you would just ram all of the enemies to death. It's got a lot of variability for it being just roguelite asteroids, but it, it works, it works very well. I should really uh, go back to that and make another video on it because it is something that I've been thinking about after having played 20 minutes and uh, Vampire Survivors. TV, don't forget the TV. 
Of course, the other option with the TV is just pick it up literally every time you throw it, but that tends to take too much time. <laughs> is Nova Drift endless? Technically, yes. It's one of those games where you play until you die, and it, there's no time limit on it, so you don't play for 20 minutes and then stop. Um, that being said, you're not gonna go endless because uh, the enemies always get harder. But maybe you could go infinitely if you have a, a broken enough build. It's a good game. I feel like it's one of those games that's been in early access for forever, but because the the concept of the game, it's a bullet man. Because the concept of the game is so damn simple, it feels like it can it totally works. Like. Sure, you know, they're always adding in new content and changing things and updating the game and adding new enemies and stuff, but the game feels complete right now. Feels a lot more complete than, you know, Vampire Survivors or 20 minutes. Let me take a drink. As we wait for the bullet man to disappear, I have to wet my whistle. TV. Television, 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 television. <clears throat> Whatever, we only have one more floor with which we need to keep this TV. Once we deposit this TV, we never have to worry about it ever again. Then we just have to play as the robot. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of key drops. <clears throat> How many more key bulletkins? That's either number two or number three. And we have to do it out of 10. So you can run the math on that one yourself. Also, Gladair, welcome. How you doing today? I know you've been here earlier and you've been chatting and I've been responding to you as well, but I don't, I don't think I've ever said hi. So hi. Also, hi, Darkless. <laughs> I gotta make sure I say hi to everyone. Most friendly streamer has to say hi to everybody. Well, you're not wrong. Also, screw you, buddy. Well, we can't take any of this. Well, we could take some of it, but we don't want to. Do I have a key? I have two keys. Let's open up the chest. Space friend, I'll take. Um, I wouldn't mind buying another key for the next floor. Wouldn't mind buying Amulet of, pit of the Pit Lord if I uh, felt like I was ever gonna fall into a pit ever again. Absolutely not. Let's grab our sling, let's do this. Now, TV needs to drop. be dropped in the very middle of the room. That way, the tel we can always pick it up. You don't want the TV to be stuck behind this guy, otherwise you have to blank to push it. One of those is missing. So you wanna have that verticality in the middle so you can go pick it up. Yoink! Also got the broccoli, all stats up. I always forget which stats go up, but you know, I'll just hope that it's good stats. And then we're done with the floor. Uh, maybe we could go buy like the barrel gun, which is actually pretty decent. I think I will get rid of the stout bullets though. I don't think that's actually very good. Especially going down to the next floor. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to start using this Yari launcher, I think. Well, we don't have to, but I'd like to. But I uh, kind of want to use Yari launcher in the next boss. So I wanna dump what I consider to be bad guns. I also think the fat line is, uh, is it good enough to keep? Honestly, we could probably dump it at this point. Let's go for the money so we can get more uh, items on the next floor, I think. And there's nothing here that I want, except for maybe a guanstone. But I think I'll just save my cash. And we are out. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough, brother. Yeah. 
I don't want Goopton. Goopton had Potion of Lead Skin, which we literally can't hold. Television, 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 television. And then he had Mega Dowser, which we don't care about, and also Barrel Gun, which honestly, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not take. Now that's not to say that the barrel gun is not good, because it really is very good. That's to say that I'd rather just uh, do something else with my money. Do something else with my money, honey. Now, losing stout bullets does mean that if we're up close and personal, like with a shotgun, it might be a little harder to actually uh, get kills, but we're gonna be at range on a lot of fights as well, so I'd rather just have the consistency of the damage rather than it sometimes be good and sometimes be, well, bad. Oh, you son of a gun. You son of a bullet mage. I really thought, by the way, that I was gonna be able to get in there Flip the table, break his his bullet buddy. Get the iframes, not take any damage. That is not how that worked. Unfortunately. Just lost like five freaking Guan Stones. JMC says, I find this run's lack of gun munchers disturbing. Is there anything that I would even gun munch? Like, I, I like all the guns that we have and they're all like relatively low quality except for two of them. And those two I'm saving for the bosses, obviously. I'm very surprised I couldn't hit you when you spawned in. Oh, I got stuck on the pillar. So let's just say we would have lost the uh, Guan Stones already. <laughs> I like that I had the wherewithal to throw the television before I dropped it during my dodge roll. Makes literally no difference, but it's funny. Okay, out of ammo, which means we'll go to the Void Shotgun. Excuse me, I have to sneeze one more time. And at any at any moment, we'll be able to deposit this television, 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 television. Careful. Charm horn. You know what? We should not have uh, opened up chests until we went to the blacksmith. Now I can't take that item. It's not great, but at least it's something. You know, we could have stolen something from the shops. Um, give me one of these, but I'll keep on Void Shock, and it's actually been pretty good. I guess, strictly speaking, if you're close enough, the Void Shotgun does beat the uh, Elephant Gun. Is there a roster command like who's died says Moss? 985. What do you mean, who's died? What do you mean, who's died? No one's died. I'm I'm not dead. You mean me? You mean Mud? I don't think Mud's dead. Well, he's playing Risk of Rain. He could be dead. He could be, uh, you know, relying on Quark to carry. I can see them playing their run. They're 47 minutes into it. I'm 55 minutes into the stream. What does that tell you? What? James C says, yeah, just type zero. <laughs> Look, I'll save my ammo, I don't care. Nope. I don't know why I'm so worried about that. <clears throat> Permadeath, is this like a per character thing or a file thing? Well, uh, if you stay for about 15 minutes, you'll see whether or not there's a zero on the end screen. Or if you don't want to stay that long, I haven't died on this save file yet, but 
you know, at any point in time we could. Even on this run, in this room, maybe we'll die to a ghost and a bulletkin. It could happen, man. I could see myself taking 10 damage in one room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we'd have to take 16 damage, so maybe that's a little bit unfeasible. Trash cannon. Oh, lovely. Um, still got the TV, still got the TV. I don't even remember switching to the elephant gun. I think in my in my brain this is just my go-to. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, wasn't I using void core? 68 asks, are you entertaining the idea of tapping out at Dragon if runs are iffy, or is it lich each time every time? Oh, I'm I'm never gonna tap out. That is extremely cowardice. Also, that go that like flies in the idea of doing a deathless run. If you could just do a run and then you're on like the fourth floor and be like, whew, this is a tough run. I think I'm gonna call it here and keep my streak intact. No, heck no. You didn't defeat mom's foot. That means you didn't beat the game. You got no ending. Heck, if you were playing Isaac and you uh, took the Polaroid and went down negative path, I'd say you still, it still doesn't count. Unless you're doing unlocks. If you're doing an unlock, then you can, you can, you're safe. Like, oh, I need to beat the cathedral 10 times in order to unlock uh, the chests. You might as well take the negative though. Sure, in that case, fine, but my God, yeah, the, literally the last room <laughs> was the, uh, the blacksmith. That television, there's something about it. May I have it? No. Oh, why'd you bring it all the way down here then? Here you go. Thank you, one moment. Brackets. I guess he had somewhere to be. Welcome back, if you make it this far. That's enough chatter for now. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, we don't need any keys. I would rather take uh, this, and I'd rather take this, which we can't afford. Smiley's revolver, which we can't afford. I guess we'll take the key. I can freely dodge roll now. Let's go. <clears throat> Is shooting yourself without the bullet tapping out? Yes. Honestly, I would say at the, here's here's my general rule of thumb. When you start a run. You've gotta declare what you're gonna do. Like, we're gonna go down to the Lich. We're gonna defeat our past on this run. And then you gotta do it. That's that's my opinion. Otherwise, you're a freaking coward. Like, if you, even like the dragon, like let's say you fight the dragon and instead of going down to the Lich, you just end your run by shooting yourself with the bullet, with the gun. I think that's a cop out. I don't think that counts. I think you are, uh, you're purposefully keeping your streak alive as opposed to risking everything on the run. You're going against, you're flying against the idea of the permadeath endless streak run. Yeah. Out of ammo. Before we use this, we should probably use the sling, which is unfortunate because it means we'll probably never use the Luxon cannon, but you know what? Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll go back. To... But I think one reason why I think uh, that that's a bit of a cop out is because because I think it gives you both an unfair advantage if you tap out early and also, it, I think it gives a bit of an unrealistic report on your performance when you consider that other people might be going down to, to later floors, you know? If someone goes down to the Lich on every run and you tap out at the Dragon every run, are you, do you have a permadeath endless streak? You know, do you have a, a 10 streak? Well, the guy who does the Lich has a, a better 10 streak, but then you've got to you got to clarify, oh, I only went to the dragon 10 times. Wait. 
You know, if you are, if you're doing streaks or if you're doing, uh, yeah, we're going to the Lich. If we're doing streaks or if you're doing permadeath runs, you gotta give it all you got. You gotta give the game all you got. And if you die, you gotta get good. You gotta get better. I guess that's kind of my idea, my thinking about it. What the heck? Freaking rude, if you ask me. Oh, thanks. Freaking space friend prevented me from knocking that guy into a pit. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, like definitely if you have something to do on your run, like we're gonna have to do our pasts again at some point to unlock the alternate guns. We're gonna have to do that, but we'll clarify at the beginning of the run, this is what we're gonna do. That way we're, we're not doing it in response to a difficult run or almost dying. We're like, okay, this is our objective. Can we complete our objective and not die? What about a hypothetical early glitch chest? I think that, here's the thing. I think you don't have to do it if you don't want. And I don't think that that will affect your streak at all. Because honestly, I wouldn't want to do that myself. Like, if you literally, let's say on floor one, you got a glitch chest, that's that's essentially suicidal. What if it was also? What if it was a wicked glitch chest? You literally have to get in or lose it forever. No, no one's gonna fault you for not doing a glitch chest in that situation. I think. Considering how hard that is to do, and how generally little rewards you get out of it. Alternate guns? Yeah, um, when you do the pasts for a second time, you do get alternate starting weapons for the characters. The weapons are functionally the same, they just look different. They're, it's a weapon skin, basically. So the bullet instead of a sword gets a carrot, the robot, instead of a machine gun on his arm, gets a freaking bone gun. Uh, the pilot gets a gold laser pistol. The hunter gets a weird magic gun, <laughs> which is very strange. Uh, I don't even know the gun that the freaking uh, convict gets. It's like a weird beam gun. Seagus Jr., welcome. Have you unlocked the robot this file yet? Nobody tell him. Tell me you haven't been watching the stream without telling me you haven't been watching the stream. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but bone gun! So they match their outfits, exactly. Um, I'm taking a lot of dumb damage in this room. Although I don't know why, I don't know why the Marine gets a weird blue pistol. Like, it just shoots blue balls. It doesn't really fit the aesthetic of he's a knight, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something there. Well, I got one shot off. Oh, this is gonna be the room end, too. Yeah, no S, that's, sorry. <laughs> Seagus Jr. says, yeah, no shit, I just got here, that's why I said hello. <laughs> Which made Mud laugh. Congratulations, you made Mud laugh. At least it didn't make him cry. Because as we all know, there's no crying in Gungeon. Or baseball. Although, I never understood that rule. If you got like hit in the head by a bat, I'd cry, it'd freaking hurt, man.
shoot blue balls because his princess is in another castle. <laughs> I get it. It's a horny joke. Wait, Flash Ray? This isn't the gun I wanted. Ah! He should have shot non-lightning lightning bolts. I don't know, like a hand crossbow would have been a little bit better thematically speaking, I think, but... I was gonna say then it wouldn't fit the Gungeon thematics, but you already have multiple different types of crossbows. I think it would fit. I think it would fit just fine. One of these will land. Um, all right, Yari launcher's at least filled. Let's go back to Laser Lotus. Let's fight the boss. I, I will say, I don't think you have to do the whole Lich Floor. As long as you de defeat the boss. Honestly, Lich Floor is pretty boring anyways. Not like you're getting any items out of it. You're just doing the floor to do the floor. Nah. You can keep the floor. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Wait, the Marine alt skin is a knight? I thought it was Doom Guy. It, you know, it, it's weird. It kind of looks like a knight to me, not Doom Guy. It looks like he's wearing like some armor, but I guess that's what Doom Guy wears. He wears armor, but I always thought that the the Marine had more of a a knightly aesthetic to it. It makes a lot more sense that it's Doom Guy, <laughs> and not like you know, the Black Knight, you shall not pass. You know, Doom Guy makes way more sense. I thought he was like Solaire, says JMC. Yeah, that's what, that's kind of what I thought. He's like a weird Gungeon Knight, but no, nah, he's probably Doom Guy. What the hell happened there? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, we're out of ammo for freaking everything. Uh, I don't know. Chuck trash. Should've used a blank there. Again, I'm always forgetful that um, this is not turbo mode. The timing is gonna be different on this stuff. Helps if I land my shots, too. The Black Knight, famous for slaying the Balrog. In the Gungeon universe, I suppose. I should be using the sling, but I don't want to use the sling for the whole run. Why, wow, he did it again, wow. Dude, the timings are way off, at least in my brain. It's gonna make it hard to go back down to turbo mode and realize that uh, there's longer delays between these attacks come out. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Anyways, he's dead. Fee fi fo fum, the lich is dead. Look at lich, the evil lich. Successful run, we did exactly what we intended to do and Yes, we have unlocked the robot, Seagus. <laughs> For you answering your curiosity, it has been done. We just did it. So we know who we're gonna play next time. We're gonna do the robot and the robot's past. Calling it now, so we can't chicken out. Anyways, uh, actually, before we finish, good, good lead god run. Return to Breach. Zero deaths. And oh, look at our little robot friend here. Breach. When, do, when does it stop saying breach when you load up the game? 
We still got work to do. We still need to hunt 14 ghosts. Uh, we still got a lot to do here. Roll bomb for 12. Honestly, couldn't care less. I suspect I'm programmed to care for Mr. Inskatus. Sis made Ox to help me out, though. He's okay to have around. We want... Oh, right. These are all ex super freaking expensive. Platinum bullets and microtransaction gun. Well, I guess in that case, we're just going to spend our money here at uh, Doug's Emporium. I'll get roll bombs. Just use the elevator over there. Chamber two. Boss rush. We do have to do boss rush at some point. Um, but we got a robot to play first. Is there anything else to spend my money on? I guess we need to get more NPC unlocks. And we have we have done Goopton. I'm wondering when he's gonna show up here and sell items because he's supposed to come up here and sell items. Maybe we have to buy more stuff from him. Maybe we have to get the sponge so we can talk to him. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways, next up, robot. 